Hey, what's up? In this video, I thought it would be fun to, to dive into the six AI tools that I simply cannot live without. So these are the, the, so my top six mostly used AI tools. So I checked it like my recent records in the recent months and these tools I used most often. Okay, so let's dive right in. The first one is uh, Venice AI, like in no particular order. And we have some fun tools uh, at the later uh, stage of the video as well. And um, Actually, I would say it's like more, this one would be number six, probably used as the sixth, sixth most often. And then number one will, will come more towards the end to keep it more engaging. <laughs> um, yeah, so this one, this one is the first one. Uh, when it's AI, it is uncensored, uncensored free AI. You can create an account or even without the account, you can create images like this, like Dumbledore with Harry Potter and Donald Trump and stuff. Like this, generating these images is, is generally impossible with other image uh, generators, uh, but it is easily possible with Venice.ai. So I will link to each of those tools in the description below. So check it out as well. The second tool is um, is uh, just, just uh, ChatGPT, OpenAI API. And I often use the playground to start playing with things like, uh, for instance, this one, you can, you could, can put in uh, anything here, like hello, Fingsters, please like and subscribe. Um, um, AI is fun, something like this. You can click generate, for instance, and then quick. Okay, so so you can uh, you can generate uh, these kind of things very quickly. But then also you can use um, code. Like if you have if you have played with with those tools, you can click on this few code image and then simply copy and paste the code to actually use the AI in your own application. And uh, this is, I think, really useful stuff, especially if you combine it with the tools uh, that I will be talking about in the later part of this video. Next one is Koala AI. I have uh, already um, created many videos about Koala AI on the Finkster channel as well. You can also find a link in the description below, a partner link where you get 15% off the, the subscription. This is a paid tool, but I think it's well worth the money. You like you pay 50 cent or so per article. And these are excellent content pieces. So I enjoy reading them myself. So for instance, you can, you can generate an article, how to become financially independent, hacking your way to money in Nirvana, something like this, right? It embeds videos. It has all the bells and whistles. I think it's a great, um, Great AI tool. Um, next one is the one I generate this video with, Veed.ai. You can also incorporate AI, um, um, AI generated content in this. So you see AI text to video. You can create clips. You can like do all kind of AI edits and stuff. Um, I usually don't don't do this for the things the channel. I want to like be a very natural. Don't don't I don't like this high editing stuff, but I have some side project AI channels where I use uh, the video generation capabilities, uh, AI generated video capabilities of V.AI and, uh, and it's quite successful. I actually get more views uh, in some months with my AI channels than I get with the things channel, which is really interesting. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a great tool. Uh, I also give a link in the description below to each of these, these tools. Next one, of course, is O1 Preview. Um, why, why this one, this is really, I, I mean, this changes coding in my opinion. I coded the whole free videos.ai app, which is another of my side projects, um, where you can, you just put in here, like any video topic here, like how to get out of debt. You, you choose the, the voice and so on, and you can generate a video out of this. Um, yeah, try it. It's free. Um, and this, this basically is generated 100% with or one preview. So if you have an idea for an application and you are willing to iterate with own one preview, often you don't need any coding skills. It will just do it for you. You just copy paste the stuff, uh, the code it gives you and copy paste it. For instance, with Streamlit, it's very easy to do. Uh, you copy paste it and you, you, you can quickly create applications. It's like a master coder in your pocket, right? It's, uh, it, it does everything, like it implements your ideas. And O1 Preview is like a leap uh, in comparison to the previous models like GPT-4.0 and stuff. There are way fewer bugs and it also can find, can find. so if, if you have some bugs, sometimes you still, I mean, 
coding is still debugging, right? Even if you code with AI models, it's still debugging. You still need to find the bugs and, and complete the bugs, but it's very easy. Like it's a hundred times easier with a one preview, in my opinion. So this is definitely one of my favorite tools. Then also the hugging chat. So many people know hugging face, right? Hugging face, it is uh, like an open source way of um, accessing um, the models. Like for instance, this model is uh, one of the very popular recent hot uh, models, Flux One Schnell from, from, from Black Forest Labs. It's a free um, image generator. I also used it for the free videos.ai site. So this one is based on the Flux model. And you can see, um, uh, you can put in any anything here, like an image of a tree-shaped planet circling through Earth or so, and it generates this in, in a few seconds. You can also get maybe a bird um, on a house, something like this. You click Compute. And then it generates the image for you. So this is Hugging Face, right? We all probably know Hugging Face. And uh, the great thing with Hugging Face is we can click View Code. We can copy this code and use it in our applications as well. So this is the API where we can connect our applications to the AIs, uh, which is, I think, really great for AI engineers. And um, But many people don't know Hugging Chat for some reason. It's um, like a chat application. It's like um, ChatGPT where you can just interact with it. And if you if you choose a model, like you can choose different models, like the Llama 3.170B Instruct model or Cohere for AI. I most of the time use Cohere for AI. And then you can ask it questions. It, can, it has some tools like image generation, image editor, fetch URLs, document parser, calculator, web search. Uh, like you, we can ask it two plus two and it will calculate it for you with the calculator, right? And you can do web search, like what are NVIDIA's earnings and revenues and incomes, and it does it for you. So it's like ChatGPT, just free and open source, right? And uh, you can choose different models. And I like it. I like this a lot. So this, these two are also two of my favorite tools. Um, for some reason, I don't use them as often because I have a paid ChatGPT um, subscription. So obviously, I use it most of the time. But, uh, but very often, I find myself like still using the tool for some reason. Um, next is mid journey, obviously. So, uh, here are some mid journey images. I think they, it's the best image generator out there and I have the paid subscription. Um, and yeah, you can create any type of image, uh, image pretty quickly. I mean, it's not as quick and responsive as say flux, but it, the quality is much better. I mean, look at those images. They are really beautiful. And uh, yeah, so recently I created, for instance, I used the image genera generator to create images like this, with this axolotl for our recent course on the Finksta Academy. Um, of course, if you want to join the Finksta Academy, then I will also give a link in the description below. The Academy teaches you um, how to become an AI engineer from scratch. So you can just go over the courses, download the course certificates. The courses are pretty simple. So you can, uh, you can become an AI engineer, right? You can, if you are already a Python coder or if you are do, if you are just like a beginner, just curious in AI, then you can finish the learning path, becoming an AI engineer from scratch, following all those courses that are given in this learning path and, or just a subset of the courses and create your own applications within weeks, right? So this is, uh, the world has changed uh, quite significantly. And I, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to study at university anymore. <laughs> I mean, because you can just get this pr very practical education on the Things Academy as well. It's, it's inexpensive, just finishing a few courses and you can, you can uh, uh, get yourself up and running and uh, have a, an exciting career, right? With AI engineering, scaling your value proposition in the real world very, very quickly. Okay, so these are my top AI tools. Um, thanks for watching. I would love to, to uh, if you give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.